Are we going to shut down the government? Is the I mean the I mean the government going to shut down the government? I guess I don't think so. We're working through the uh, compromise to keep the government open. The continuing resolution that I filed is a, a two step. Uh, we're calling it two phase. CR. Democrats and the Senate doesn't like it, and the White House doesn't like it. So that's a hurdle to begin with. And people within your own party don't like it. So no one likes it. No one likes it. I don't like them either. It's not the way the government is supposed to run. When we get to a position where we have to pass a continuing resolution, it means we failed in our job. Um, that's happened for a long time now. We don't have muscle memory on how to actually do the budget and actually enact 12 separate appropriations bills as the statutes require us to do. It hasn't been done in many years here. So we're trying to break that mold and get back to regular order because that serves the American people well. It's a good stewardship of their, of their precious resources and uh, it allows for more accountability. So the two-phase CR, the design of it is, and the reason everybody has been a little bit shocked about it, we haven't done anything like this before, but the purpose is to break up the dreaded Christmas omnibus bill that everybody knows is the way this has been done. Ever since I've been here for the last seven years, um, all the hard work on appropriations is pushed to the end of the year. And then right before everybody is ready to go home for Christmas, they jam down some you know trillion dollar spending monstrosity that's 3,000 pages long and no one has time to read it. That is no way to run a railroad. So what we've committed to do is get back to the way it's supposed to be done. And it's like pushing a boulder uphill right now to get people to change that practice. But the, the two-phase CR will move it into January, January 19th for the first tranche of bills. And then the remainder will go to February 2nd. And that will allow us the necessary time to finish the work that's been started to get those individual bills done. As much as that might be a good idea, how do you get the people who are opposed to it, even within on this side of the House, knowing that the Senate's opposed to it and the White House um, it almost seems like it's dead on arrival. It's not dead on arrival. Don't say that. I'm, well, I'm, I'm just saying this. I mean, who's, I mean, is the Senate in favor of it or the White House in favor of it? Let's just start there I, I, without I, your party. Without yeah, looking I your honestly party. don't know where the White House is going to land on that. They panned it immediately before they'd even read it, of course. The panned the idea, the concept. Um, I did have thoughtful conversations with uh, Leader Schumer and with uh, Leader Jeffries over here um, and, and told them the purpose of it. This is not political partisanship. This is what we're trying to do is make sure the government stays in operation because we're in a dangerous time. The world is on fire. We cannot afford uh, to not pay our troops and all the other terrible things that happen from a government shutdown. And so the effort is to, to pragmatically address this issue. And from my conservatives and my, my party, what I tell them is keep the government open. It allows us to be in position to, to really fight for the priorities that we care so much about. We've got to help Israel. We've got to uh, have strong oversight and scrutiny over Ukraine aid. We've got to fix the border, all these things that we need to do in the appropriations process. But we won't be able to survive to have those fights if the government's shut down. And so this is an opportunity to get there. I, I think at the end of the day, they're going to recognize that the two-phase step is good for the process. I think Democrats and Republicans will. i got a lot of work, work to do. As soon as we're done with this interview, I'll be right back in the rooms uh, talking to our colleagues. <laughs> 